So now that we have a formula for circumference and a formula for, uh, for area for this circle, let's talk about what this looks like in a, in a specific problem. When we have an object that is a circle and we need to find the, these different types of measurements. Your first thing is to identify what information is giving and what needs to find. So we're going to basically do this first problem together. And what we're going to do is we're going to find the radius, circumference, and area. Notice this is different for numbers 2 and 3 and 4. I mean, you're, you're going to find circumference and area in all of them, um, but uh, you're going to do it, uh, you, for, you're going to find uh, either diameter or radius based on whether they give you the other one. So look, in, in number 1, they're giving you diameter. Number 2, they're giving you radius. Number 3, they're giving you diameter. What they give you is very, very important. Um, so since we're finding three things, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to highlight what you have, what you need to find here, and let's uh, kind of separate this into three different sections for our work. The first portion here is going to be to find uh, radius. Radius, if you remember, is half is from the center to the outside, so it's actually half of the diameter. So we're going to take our formula here we're going to use is diameter divided by 2. My diameter was 9, so 9 divided by 2 gives me a radius of 4.5 inches. For circumference and area, we're actually going to get two answers. We're going to get, uh, in terms of pi, which means we're going to leave 3.14 out of it. I'll show you what I mean by that. And then we're going to plug 3.14 and round to the nearest tenth. So in terms of pi and to the nearest tenth. Circumference, remember, is just we take diameter and plug it in. So in terms of pi, this would be 9 pi. So 9 pi inches is actually one of our answers. We're going to box that. I'm going to do this for every problem. Now the next step is to find this to the nearest tenth. So I'm going to plug 3.14 in and then multiply this on a calculator. So 9 times 3.14. And you need to be careful with your rounding here. Don't just lop it off uh, at the tenth spot. Think, does it round up or stay the same? So 28.26 is not 28.2. It's going to be 28.3 inches. Remember, these are inches, not inches squared, because circumference is parameter. It's uh, one-dimensional. In other words, if I took the circle, I broke it open, and laid it out flat, it would just be a line. Let me rewrite that. That didn't come out very neat. 28.3 inches. All right, area. Remember the formula for area is pi times radius squared. This is why it's so important to think about what they're giving you here. In this problem, I can't plug in 9, because 9 is not the radius. My radius is 4.5. That's why I had to do that step at the very beginning. I think if they gave me radius, I would have to find diameter to do circumference. So I'm going to take 4.5 and, and square that, and then uh, leave it in terms of pi. So 4.5 squared is 20.25. So in terms of pi, my area is 20.25 pi inches squared. And these are inches squared because this is the space inside, so I'm filling these all in. And think about if we drew this on grid paper, there'd be a bunch of squares here that would make up the inside of the circle. Now to find it to the nearest tenth, we're just going to plug in uh, 3.14 and then multiply round to the nearest tenth. This is what your work is going to look like for every single one of these problems. Uh, the CD problem, you'll notice at the... I forget if that's number four or number five. I, I, think, it's, I think it's number five. There's two different uh, either diameter or radii. So you, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to do this work twice. So you actually have six different areas to do work, one for each circle. So for every circle you're finding the measurements for, you need three different areas, one, one space for finding either radius or diameter, one for finding circumference, one for finding area. So in number two, notice to give you the radius is 13 inches. So that means we're finding diameter. Remember, diameter is two times the radius. So this is just two times 13. 26, and then we're going to plug in circumference equals pi times diameter, area equals pi times radius squared. Go ahead and complete these problems. Uh, make sure your work looks like number one on every single one of these problems.